Okay. Um, <clears throat> okay. I just have one item for all of you at the top a week ahead. Uh, this weekend, including President's Day on Monday, the President will remain in D.C. Uh, throughout, uh, obviously at the White House. Uh, throughout next week, the President will continue close coordination with our allies and partners on Russia's potential further invasion of Ukraine. On Tuesday, the President will host an event announcing progress on restoring critical supply chains, powering clean energy manufacturing, and creating good paying jobs. And on Thursday, the President will participate in a virtual G7 leaders meeting to discuss the ongoing situation with regard to Russia and Ukraine and priorities of the German G7 presidency this year. Uh, with that, um, I will try to jump around as much as I can. Josh, you want to kick us off, though? Great. Thanks, Jen. Uh, two questions. First, has the President read the Russian response on Ukraine? And is he given any consideration to mobilizing additional troops in Europe? Uh, well, on the first part, um, I know that, uh, as you all know, our Secretary of State uh, has accepted the invitation to have a meeting uh, with Foreign Minister Lavrov or engage with him uh, next Wednesday. Uh, and certainly we are continuing to review in terms of the President's status or process there. I don't have anything to update you on. Uh, we have always said uh, from the beginning uh, that we are open to sending uh, more troops uh, should that be needed, uh, but I don't have any update on that front. I would point you to the Department of Defense. And, and then secondly, real quick, uh, separatists in Ukraine uh, are evacuating civilians to Russia. Secretary Blinken warned about this as a type of false flag operation. Now that you're seeing these operations, does that mean a further invasion is forthcoming, if not inevitable? Well, I would first say that um, we believe, we continue to believe, as you heard our Secretary of State say yesterday, that uh, Russia is positioned to attack Ukraine uh, in the coming days. Uh, and that has, remains the case. Uh, just what the Secretary said yesterday, obviously the President will be speaking shortly to all of you. At the same time, uh, the door to diplomacy remains open, and it will continue to remain open. And uh, again, we, uh, as is evidenced by the fact that our Secretary of State is planning to engage with uh, the the Foreign Minister. Uh, but in terms of uh, in terms of these uh, these reports, uh, yes, it is a good example of what we're seeing, or what we have long anticipated, or and long predicted for all of you, uh, that the Russians would uh, take part in uh, pretexts uh, or steps that would uh, lay a predicate. Uh, for either war or to create confusion or spread misinformation on the ground about what's actually happening on the ground.